Chair for the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the George Washington University. Dr. Radis is a longtime participant in our National DOT Engineers Program, and we've asked her to tell us about the engineering program at GW and to introduce the other panel members that we have here this morning and this afternoon. Dr. Radis. Well, thank you, Steve. Um, I want to thank the US DOT for the opportunity for those of us in the university community to be able to talk with you about engineering and university engineering programs. We're fortunate to have with us today representatives from leading engineering universities um, in the Washington metropolitan area. We have Dr. Earl Noel, professor of engineering, Howard University. We also have Dr. DeBibi, um, Professor of Engineering and Aviation Science, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore, and Dr. Lou Sun, Professor and Chair, Civil Engineering, and Director for the Center of Intelligent Transportation and Sustainable Infrastructure here at Catholic University. Since I'm already up here at the podium, I'll lead off and um, uh, talk with you a little bit about GW. And, um, what I've put up here, there's a set of cards coming around. Um, GW School of Engineering and Applied Science has an open house coming up for, it's actually on two different dates um, uh, within the next few weeks for, um, uh, I believe one of the dates we already did and then there's one upcoming. Um, and so if you get that card, it has the URL on the back of it for getting to GW undergraduate admissions and then what I did here was I put up the one thing that if you're going to put one thing on your notes, please put this one thing on your notes. And that's the URL for the School of Engineering and Applied Science at the George Washington University. And so it's World Wide Web, www, School of Engineering and Applied Science, which we call SEAS, S-E-A-S, um, dot George Washington University, so GWU, dot, and then it's the education domain, so it's dot edu. And if you go to that site, it will have a lot of information for, if you click on um, the tab for students, it'll have another tab for prospective students. And it has all of the program details posted there and contact information. So, um, I wanna do. Okay, so. GW has the following um, engineering departments, which are the ones that are not in parentheses. And then we also have engineering programs that you may not realize we have um, from the title of the departments. And so I put those in parentheses underneath. And so I'm chair of the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. And one of our undergraduate options is transportation engineering. Our main undergraduate option is sustainability engineering. And um, there's six courses in the main sequence that focus on sustainability. For example, there's uh, transportation and, the, and energy, and there's water and the environment are two different required courses for undergrads in civil and environmental engineering. <clears throat> um, the computer science department has not only Bachelor of Science degrees, but it also has Bachelor of Arts degrees. And that was touched on a little bit in, um, early, in the earlier um, the, um, presentation just before mine, where um, they talked about the fact that there's, there's a wide range of um, choices available. And sometimes people don't want to get as heavily into the calculus and physics aspect of things, and they really want to get a BA instead of getting a Bachelor of Science degree. And you can do that. Um, uh, in uh, computer science um, at GW. We have electrical and computer engineering, which has three programs in it. It has electrical engineering, computer engineering, and then it also is home to our largest undergraduate engineering program, which is biomedical engineering. Then we have engineering management and systems engineering, and um, mechanical and aerospace engineering. Um, we have, okay. What are the reasons why I'm at GW and why I think some of you should consider going to GW? Well, the first thing is that I think you get the benefits of being at a large university and a small college. Because what happens is the School of Engineering and Applied Science at GW, GW is a mid-sized university. So it has all of the things that universities have, not just colleges. 
So we have a very high research activity. We're in the top group of 116 universities in the United States that have very high research levels. Um, uh, and there's just a lot happening on campus because it's very diverse. It's not just a college. Um, but we have um, uh, a, a very um, good ratio of the number of students to the number of professors. So for GW overall, it's 14 students per, prof per professor, and in the School of Engineering, it's less than 10 students per professor. And um, we have a very young, dynamic faculty. We've had a lot of turnover. We're doing a lot of hiring. The School of Engineering is going through a growth cycle right now. So those are reasons why I think it's an exciting place to be. We have a lot of people that are interested in how, at the School of Engineering in how do we solve the global problems that we're seeing. Um, how are we going to survive on a planet in um, 2050 that's going to have 10 billion people or more on it? And how are we going to meet the needs of those people? And it's people like you out there. It's not me, because I'm not going to be around then. But people like you are going to be the ones that um, are going to be addressing those big problems. And now, the last reason why you want to feel good about GW is because I only have two slides. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad.